welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a day in the life video it is tuesday i don't have my granddaughter on tuesdays so i try to get a few things done around the house if i don't have doctor's appointments and things like that going on and i don't today so there are several things i want to get done i need to get the house straightened up you know the regular everyday stuff that needs to be done <clears throat> but I also have some canning projects that I want to do. I have several things in my big freezer downstairs that I want to get out and can, um, like some ground beef. Um, I have some beef bones down there where I want to do some um, beef broth. Um, there are a lot of tomatoes down there from last year's garden that I want to get out and can. I want to do some rotel, some salsa, and some just plain tomato sauce and there's some strawberries I want to do some strawberry jam there's also chicken down there I want to thaw and can there's a lot down there that I want to take care of but I don't think I'll get to all of it today actually I know I won't get out to all of it today um, but I'm going to do what I can and um, take you guys along with me I'm sitting here looking at the garden I was going to take you guys out there and show you what me and my husband did this weekend um, if you've been here a while, you know that I have groundhog issues. They have been um, getting in the garden, eating all the leaves, all the nutrients. And, and we, we had this problem last year and we left it and just to see what would happen. And things did grow, but it didn't grow um, good. I don't know how to say it. It, it. There wasn't a big yield and what did come from it, maybe, well, for example, I had, a, I had watermelons plant. I had watermelon planted out there and the only watermelon I got was about that big size of a dime. Um, I didn't cut it open, but I did take a picture of it. You know, I was kind of proud of it. But anyway, the groundhogs have already started this year and we didn't have the fence up. We did last year and it crawled under the fence. So this year we stapled or staked down the fence on the bottom and then we also put these little um, solar powered motion sensored things. I don't know what to call what they're called, but they they're if, if an animal or something were to come in, it's supposed to send off a high pitched shrill to scare it away. Well, unfortunately for my kids, they can hear that. <laughs> I can't. We can't. So I don't know if you can hear it on the video right now because. Any little movement in there with the wind blowing or a bird or whatever, squirrel, <clears throat> it starts that high pitch. So I wanted to take you out there and show you, but I don't know if you guys will hear it on the video. Maybe I'll do like a voiceover. I think that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and take you out there and show you what we did and then do a voiceover. That way I can mute it in case you hear what's going on. But anyway, I'll do that here in just a second. Today is a vlog day, and I don't know what all I'll get into. I know what I want to do. I just don't know what all I'll get done. But like I said, I'm going to take you guys with me, and I hope that you guys are having a good day so far. So let's get into it. My husband got started bright and early on Saturday morning, and then a couple hours later, I joined him. But we put this fence up. Over there you, at, the, at the fence, you saw my potatoes. And then here I have... Um, one, two, three, four different types of tomatoes. My tomato plants were destroyed. So these I got from a local greenhouse. And I think there's some Rama, some beef steak, and some cherry in there. And then here is my, I have three zucchini plants. Those are doing well. The groundhog did not touch those. I don't know if it's because they're a little um, prickly. I don't know. And then here I have some peppers, some zinnias, and this is my strawberry batch that we got several strawberries from this year and then I have some more zinnias and I also had some radishes and carrots and onions planted all through here but the mold took care of that in the middle there is my cucumber and I'm trying to give you a close-up look so you can see where the groundhog nibbled some of it that he nibbled on I didn't pull up because I thought I could salvage it we're going to see what happens and then here are my hot peppers. These two peppers at the closest to the camera, in the morning time, they look good, but then in the afternoon, they look wilt wilted. I don't know what that's all about. Um, at the top right there, I've planted some, um, oh goodness, oregano seeds. 
And then I also planted some uh, flower seeds in the grow bags. That's rhubarb there in the corner, but I got flower seeds in the, in the grow bags. And then all the way to the end are some marigolds and then some chive seeds. I wasn't gonna do anything from seed. I was just gonna do all plants, but I decided I would give herbs a try to kind of fill in and deter pet pests. And over in front of the tomatoes, I also planted um, some basil and parsley. And then somewhere, I said, did I, do, did I tell you did oregano? Anyway, there are a few onions and carrots scattered through the garden. That's Clarence. He's the owl that keeps watch over the, the garden. But anyway, I did, I did have several onions and carrots planted, but the mole definitely did damage with that. I, I guess, I don't know. I guess they took, I don't know. I don't know. We didn't have mole issues last year. That's just new. Now, guys, looking at this, you may think, oh, goodness, she needs to do this or she needs to do that. And please, please let me know because this is my second time with a garden and I am still learning. This is my strawberry patch. We did get a few strawberries out of it this year. I need to go in and weed it and then I'm going to just cover it back up again. And then, like I said, we're going to see how the cucumbers grow. I don't know the two peppers closest to the camera were um habanero no 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 not habanero poblano and they don't act like they're doing anything so i don't know i've also got jalapeno and um, habanero in there and so this little blank spot right here that's where i planted oregano all of that was full with carrots and onions I don't know what happened. And then on the far side over there, I planted the chives. So I'm hoping I'll get flowers out of my grow bags, bags, different types of flowers. I don't know. It may be too late in the season to do seeds, but I wanted to give it a go, see what happens, see what we could salvage, see what we could do with what we've got. And I'm hoping that where we have staked down the bottom parts of the fence, we didn't do that last year, that hopefully the groundhog will just not fool with it. And um, yeah, so... That's my garden. I do love it. I do love it. I love to just look at it. <laughs> I know that that sounds stupid, but I do. I just like to look at it. I'm hoping to get a lot of um, yield from it this year. I've already asked God for a blessing, and he is able to do more than I could ever imagine. So I have it in his hands. So right now, I'm just going to try to get some cleaning up done. I um, wasted pretty much the first part of the day just trying to get motivation to get up, but it was time to get busy. my freezer and I have several things of meat up here not too much often that I want to process I have all of this chicken that I'll eventually process I need to go through the here and um, there are some things I need to take out for example this is this one of those things we had bought some I don't even know what that is. Anyway, we had bought some bacon a while back. Like this right here. And it turned out to be disgusting. <laughs> we bought a big old pack and was going to, um, you know, enjoy it. But it turned out to not be very good. So, down here are all of my tomatoes. I've got the bones right there for my broth. So, I just need to get in here and get some things cleaned out. Anyway, 
But right now I'm gonna get all of my tomatoes out. you guys I'm having trouble finding motivation today I told you I didn't have a doctor's appointment today and I didn't but I did get a phone call concerning my health and things like that and so that was a good little hour and a half taken out of my day that I wasn't planning on and after I had sat that long working through all that I just wasn't motivated to get up so it's later in the afternoon and I'm just now getting started but I did bring my tomatoes up if I can get that done today I'll feel like I've accomplished something so I'm gonna go ahead and get those washed up I am doing something different I'm going to all of my recipes that I have I'm going to the um, salsa and rotel and with the tomato sauce I'm going to roast everything all the vegetables and everything are going to be roasted and then I will well, maybe not the salsa. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do the salsa that way too. Anyway, I'm tired and I haven't done anything. Oh, well, let's get busy.
spark shock to my heart See my blood rush running Staring at my hands and making big plans You and me started something Just to watch my mind go So I don't think that I'm going to get to all of the canning projects that I wanted to. I may still try to get the tomato sauce canned, but um, the rotel and the salsa, I'm going to roast those vegetables in the crock pot overnight and maybe get to those tomorrow. My granddaughter will be here, so I'll try to get that. If I, if I can't work on it while she's here, then I'll just put it to the side and I'll work on it after she leaves. But right now I'm getting ready to fix dinner and I am super excited about tonight's dinner. Um, this is not sponsored, but it is in a, collab, a collaboration with Trisha from um, Frontier Soup. When they started their company, they were Frontier Soups, but now they, are they have changed their name to Anderson House. And for more than 35 years, the family-owned business has gathered people around the dinner table with honest-to-goodness real ingredients and impeccable quality. They carefully craft their food using the finest natural ingredients and highest quality standards to nourish wellness every day. Their website is super easy to follow. They have excellent prices. If you think about what you spend to make a soup like this for your family, you are going to be saving a whole lot of money going this route. And let me just tell you, it was so, so good. I hope that you guys will stop by their website. I will have all the information linked in the description below. Give these guys a try. They really, really are super easy and super delicious. You will have some things um, that you need on hand to put with it. Like, um, for example, this needs some chicken broth or vegetable broth, broth, vegetable broth, or heavy cream, and then you can this doesn't have a meat with it, but I'm going to add some of my canned chicken. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. It's the red peppercorn chowder mix. And so I'm going to walk you guys through how easy it is to make this. But like I said, go check out their website. All of their information will be down below. And you can use my code BLESSEDLIFE10 to get 10% off of your first order. All right, so this says I need four cups of chicken or vegetable broth. I need one cup of heavy cream. And it recommend, it rec a recommended option is two cups of peeled shrimp or cooked shredded chicken. And first thing we're going to do in my pot, I'm going to bring the broth to a bowl and then reduce heat and stir in the soup mix. So I have two jars, which was four cups of my homemade chicken broth. going to go ahead and add my chicken here because it's got a little bit of broth in it as well and I can go ahead and get my chicken um, mashed up while all this is coming to a boil. All right so this is boiling. I'm going to reduce my heat and stir in the pack of vegetables and seasoning. And then we're going to cover this and we're going to let it simmer for 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, it smells delicious. All right, it has been 15 minutes. Oh man, that looks and smells so good. All right, I, it says to add one cup of heavy cream. I have my heavy cream little hockey pucks <laughs> that I um, froze. We're going to go with four for a cup. I'd say each one is about a fourth of a cup. And then we are going to leave this on low and uncovered for another 10 minutes. And it'll be ready. They have, um, like I said before, they have sides that you can make. Um, they they had a cornbread that I thought would look really good with this. Ten more minutes.
shut your mouth, thinking all about If you know what you've done Just watch my mind go wild I pack out rules in the sight Tearing through my chest so loud Can you hear my heart right now? This is bigger than a crush, crush, crush Embers falling around me Really think this could be love, love, love. Ooh didn't get the video closed out last night I was super super tired it just kind of hit me all of a sudden and um, I just I got in the kitchen and got busy with the tomatoes got those done and then just crashed so I'll kind of pan around here let me just show you what I did with the tomatoes Hold on. so I've already got them canned getting ready to get them in the crock pot but this right here this is the salsa that I made and I just put I put tomatoes, peppers, onions, cilantro, all kinds of different things in the crock pot for that. I can um, link that recipe in the description below. And then this right here is all Rotel. Again, I can link that in the description. And all the Rotel is is the tomatoes, poblano peppers, and some lemon juice. So that's all of that. And then over here, I had just a few left over, and I debated whether or not I was going to put this Go ahead and get these mixed in with the other two, but I decided I don't have any tomato sauce on my shelf right now. So, well, a little bit I had left over. I got four jars of tomato sauce. So, I'm going to get that um, canned up today, this afternoon, while a little bit, my grandbaby, she's here today. While Carson is sleeping, I might try to get that started, and then that'll be done. So, yesterday wasn't a total fail. I did get the tomatoes done. Um, the hardest part was getting them, was thawing them out and getting the skins off, which I don't normally do. I usually just throw skins and all on when they're super, super fresh. Um, but these, when they thawed out, the skins just pop right off of them. So I went ahead and did it. And so, like I said, I'm glad that's done. And I can focus on other things slowly as the week goes on. But I'm glad, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, wanted to remind you that Saturday's video, which is June 15th, my daughter-in-law's birthday, um, that video will be a cleaning video, and anyone that likes and comments on that video will be entered into a drawing um, for a giveaway that I'm doing because I've reached a 1,000 subscribers, and it's just a thank you. And um, so I'm trying to remind everybody this week and then Saturday, that video and then I'll give it seven days. So the following Saturday is when I'll do the drawing. So that gives gives it a week to be up and um, viewed and commented and so on and so forth. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Come back and hang out with me some more. Um, I do all kinds of different things on this channel. Cooking, cleaning, canning, gardening, gardening, day in the lives, weekends in the lives, just whatever. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, guys, I will see y'all later. Bye. Don't forget to check out Anderson House and their Frontier Soups. All the information will be linked down below. You guys will enjoy this, I promise you. And you can use my uh, code BLESSEDLIFE10 to get 10% off of your first order. Oh,